For more on the Thailand cave rescue, we're joined by Ad Sorensen. He's the National Speleological Society Safety Director and owner of Cave Adventures. Uh, sir, I want to begin by asking you about this mission. It's a difficult mission, and the rains are obviously not helping. But some are still questioning, why couldn't the rescuers get all the 12 boys all at once out of the cave instead of just four at a time? Well, um, you know, I'm not there, so it's hard to second guess what they're doing. But um, what they've got ahead of them is uh, an arduous task. There's, um, uh, there's, there's tight restrictions. There's um, zero visibility. There's high flow in some places. It seems to have toned down a little bit now. Uh, there's uh, all these things cause extreme stress. Um, even the dry caving portions um, are very treacherous. Um, they're muddy, they're slippery, there's um, uneven ground. It's not like walking uh, home from the store. So uh, everything about it is, um, uh, is beyond what most any diver could do, uh, let alone people that don't even know how to swim, have never been submerged for any period of time never use scuba apparatus. Um, there's so many, ta uh, so many terrible things that they're having to face that um, it just shows the, the resilience of these young boys. So the boys have been there for over two weeks. Uh, not, uh, eight uh, of them are still remaining underground. What's the challenges for the second round of rescuers? Do you think those boys uh, can make it? Well, I never speculate on things like this. Uh, anything could go wrong. There's so many uh, uh, horrific uh, things ahead of them uh, that would cause stress for most people, induce panic. Um, so the fact that they found them in such great condition, uh, the first two rescuers, uh, uh, the Brits didn't get there, John and Rick, uh, they did a fantastic job finding them. Um, it shows how strong uh, those young people are that they that they made it through this far, um, and it's going to get more and more difficult. There's there's steep ups and downs and restriction boulder chokes. There's every possible thing you wouldn't want to have in a rescue, uh, all combined. So um, taking them out one or two at a time is really about as much as you can do, and you just got to hope for the best. And uh, they obviously have great people on scene. So let's put ourselves in the shoes of the boys. Uh, what can the boys expect? Uh, what can they do? What can they do together uh, while the rescuers are going to get them? Well, I'm not sure what they've been doing, uh, whether, um, but I mean, being, being banded together, uh, giving, uh, feeding off each other's strengths, uh, uh, at least they have hope now the first nine days. They didn't even know if anybody was coming for them. Uh, was that where they were going to perish? I mean, at least they have food and water and uh, medical attention and lights. Um, they were just alone in the dark. I mean, nine days must have seemed like a couple of months to those boys. Certainly, I'll uh, keep an eye on the rescue in the Thailand uh, cave mission uh, at Sorensen. Thank you so much for your time.